geography is often the last thing many people think about when they think about ponds. However, it should be one of the first things you think about when it comes to ponds. Why? Consider what a pond is. It's a body of water. It's a body of water that is smaller than a lake. That's the basic definition of a pond. Now there is more than meets the eye when it comes to a pond. For starters, think about how they can be formed. They can be formed naturally or artificially. A pond can be formed as part of a floodplain. It can be formed as part of a river system. Or man can create a pond like these. Ponds can also be formed by glacial means. In fact, you have a term for a pond formed by glacial means, or rather, any small, shallow lake formed by glacial means, a kettle. But, you know, that's just the way, you know, ponds can be formed. They can be formed naturally, you know, it can be formed as part of a river system, part of a floodplain. And some places, they can be formed through glacial activity. Glaciers retreating and melting, and the land that was depressed because of the weight of the glaciers, it gets filled up with water as the glaciers retreat. Man has been able to create artificial bodies of water. And that is how many ponds have been formed. And basically it's like you take water and you fill up a piece of land that you know it's a lot lower compared to the land surrounding it. And you have pond, you have this. Man's way of changing his environment around him by creating a landform. Human environmental interaction. Reasons ponds might be made by people. In this case you've got you've got a park here. I'm in a park and this pond and that pond and there's a pond further away up there. These were likely formed as part of the natural, part of nature, you know, part of an environmental restoration. It was probably created as a place, you know, where people can come and fish. Or you can fish, but you gotta you gotta throw the fish back, but it was created as a way of, you know, creating a habitat for flora and fauna, especially these waterfowl. You find a lot of ducks, you find a lot of mallards and geese around these ponds. And while it makes for good fun and while it makes for something pretty to see, you should also be thinking about the geography and why you find them here. And man's human environmental interaction and how in some cases man will create bodies of water like this as part of an environmental restoration or to create a new habitat for animals. Or in some cases it just raises your property value because if you're living near a pond or a small body of water like this or if it's on your property you know it could be looked at as you know, increasing quality of life, something pretty to look at, a place to go fish, or, you know, a place to go and just look at nature. In some places, ponds are used as a way of collecting water. You know, it's part of the water supply. 
we have a term for that reservoirs reservoirs themselves are often created you know you make a dam and then the water that is flowing you know that area of depressed land fills up forms an artificial lake or a reservoir when you look at man-made ponds think of them as sort of like man-made reservoirs hope you enjoyed this video if you like it be sure to leave a comment like and subscribe